Leslie from Denworks, if you prefer. Mrs. D. Mrs. Denworks is my username. And uh, we have today, super excited about this one, 1994 Ford F-150 XLT truck that I'm going to show you in the video. We're going to do a full walk around. I'll show you the interior and under the hood. And we'll do a little bit of driving too so you can see this truck. Um, right offhand, some really great things about it. 88, 9,000, 50 miles on it. So uh, all original miles and one owner until we pick this up in 2021. So let's, we're gonna walk around from the front to the back. I'll show you a little bit about it. <clears throat> and then we can talk more about it. So as you can see, front nice and clean. Uh, the chrome is bright. Everything looks good up here. And you'll see when we get under the hood, there's no evidence of wrecks or damage, anything like that. There are a couple of uh, paint flaws on the truck. I'm going to point out some of them. I may not get like every single thing, but I'll point out the stuff that you really should see. And there's also pictures, of course, with the auction and the write-up. So take a look and make sure you can see that. So heading down the driver's side, we have LT23575 R15 tires. They have a date code of 2015 on them. And I put pictures up. They're in great shape, good tread on them. And they're, I think they look nice with the white letters out. And you can see a little, there's a scratch on the hood right here. We've, it's got some paint touch up. And then coming down the side, nice and straight. Paint looks in fairly good condition. Like I said, there's a few, there's a few little flaws here and there. And then this one, this is driver's door. There's a, a dent right here. And it's just underneath the threshold of the door. Um, you can't see it real well when you're up at this level. So I wanted to make sure to point that out. And then here's another, my shadow's getting in the way. Here's another little scuff coming down the side. And the paint, like I said, it's in relatively good condition all the way. White looks good. There's a few little, you can see kind of some surface scratching here. Um, but it's pretty, it's, it's pretty well in the surface. And then this truck does have dual gas tanks, which is a real add for a pickup. So you don't have to fill it up quite as often. Oops, show you inside the gas doors here. that one and this one so everything looks good and I love this teal color I mean it's just a classic 1994 color I think it's an awesome awesome ad and then coming around the back I'm gonna switch switch gears here we have the back bumper there's a little flaw right here in the paint and then little ding on the back door that might be on the tailgate it might be a little bit hard to pick up in pictures so i wanted to make sure to point that out and tailgate is nice and straight there's a there's a little scratch right there and then there's a couple little flaws right here in the paint that you can see and then on the back bumper a scuff mark right here i didn't think it was a big enough deal to replace the bumper or anything like that it's something you could address if you wanted to but doesn't necessarily need to and then there's a there's a dent right here behind where um where the bumper is and then coming down passenger side pretty similar condition to the other side of the truck we have the chrome exhaust tip and then you can see the tires and again i put pictures of all those in the auction for you this side pretty darn good I wanted to see if there was anything else major here to point out to you the paints in you can see it's nice and shiny and bright um, the bed has spray and bed liner in it which is a huge ad I love that in a truck I just think it's super practical um, that way you can use it for hauling whatever you need <clears throat> and then coming back up to the front you can see the roof looks good and then we're just showing you the rockers and those are in great shape 
this truck has been well cared for, for sure. And then there's a there's a scuff on the front bumper right here. I wanted to show that to you as well. And again, that is one of those things where you can't you can't see it real well um, from this level. So I wanted to make sure that you could see that in the pictures. And if you want to follow us, of course, I'm Mrs. Denworks on Bring a Trailer. And uh, Jason has auctions too. He's Denworks. And you can check out our website, denworks.com. And we also have a podcast that we do together that's super fun. We talk about cars, marriage. If you want a little preview of stuff that we have coming up for sale, it's called No Reserve. So I encourage you to check that out if you want to follow along with what we're doing. And on Instagram, we're Denworks Vintage Cars. So I'll put up a, a little uh, picture of that so you can see that as well. And Jason hopped in and he's going to fire it up so we can see the light. Well, I guess the, just the lights and everything. <laughs> no rehearsing here. <laughs> so we have marker lights and headlights. There's your headlights and blinkers. Oh, there's your brights. And there's your left and you're right that's harder than i than i knew it was actually hello denworks hello and then let's go check out the back so we'll do lights in the back it's a little sunny today so there's one there's the other one and then brake lights there we go brake lights and then blinkers left and right and then how about reverse there's your reverse lights. There's one and two. So that's about it. This is a pretty awesome truck with, you know, under 90,000 miles on it. This is going to be a great addition for whatever use you may have, even if it's just to drive around and have some fun. So thanks for doing the walk around with me. things I wanted to point out door um, door panel nice and clean there is some wear right here that you can see uh, it's nothing that's broken but you can just see that it's a little bit worn from time and then inside the cab the interior looks really really nice the seats are in great condition except for this one little area of wear on the driver's seat right where you get in and out so that's in the photos but wanted to make a special note of that as well you can see that the the door great condition no wrinkles nothing like that looks really good and the the dash in here not cracked or anything like that again it's got a little bit of discoloration mm -hmm. that you can see and the steering wheel in good condition too it's a little bit worn out on some of the areas but it's not it's got a little bit of cracking up here but relatively good shape and I didn't want to put a, a steering wheel cover on it and then you've got your fuel tanks here that you can switch back and forth really easy lights you've got your dash all of those and then headliner is in relatively good shape um, there's a couple of there's a couple of holes up here that I wanted to point out to you otherwise it's attached really well I don't know what those are from um, but it, they're just there and I didn't want to mess with the headliner so I'm gonna go over to the passenger side hello again and then we can take a look from this angle we've got we've got the factory radio AM FM your heater and air conditioning controls. Air conditioner works really well, blows nice and cold. I'm gonna let you hear the compressor. You've got an additional power point that does work. I used it just today actually to charge. And then um, the center seat, 
great condition as well. So as you can see, the interior, except for that one spot of wear uh, on the driver's seat that I mentioned, is in pretty fantastic condition. And then on this side, door panel, similar condition to the other one, not quite as much wear up here. There's a little bit. And then I'll show you the window rolling up and down. Nice and smooth. And then we're going to show you the driver's door window, also nice and smooth. And we did put a new windshield in this truck. There was a just a couple of chips in it, and so we wanted to we wanted to replace that. So that's nice and clean for you. And so let's take a look under the hood. And everyone is different. There's a little there's a pole inside, and then. There's a little tab right here and you have to kind of push down on the hood just a little bit and then it pops up. So nice and easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. No wrinkles on the hood. No evidence of damage, anything like that. You can see along the back, what's this called? Cowl. The cowl. The cowl looks in really good shape. And then just all the way around, everything is nice, nice and clean. There's no wrinkling, no damage, nothing like that. We have the emission sticker up here and under the hood, of course, here's your 5.0 engine. And then we've got a C compressor, compressor, all the regular stuff. And then just a few notes about work that we did. Um, we changed the oil and filter. We did rear differential and then put in new rear diff fluid, of course. Um, we replaced this intake with a dual Y connector and <clears throat> we did an oil pan gasket. I have my little list on my phone so I don't forget. And rear axle seal. And then also underneath, we did new shocks. So there's gas magnum shocks underneath. And then you'll see um, bushings that were recently replaced as well. So the truck's had a nice once over and it is ready to go. And as you can see under the hood, super, super clean. So this is just very, very nice looking. So we're gonna fire it up so you can hear it run. And then also hear the AC compressor. music <laughs> obviously this was your pick of music for you the love, radio I hate you love classical I <laughs> I that is my worst nightmare and here we are in this 94 f-150 it's a country That's, country boy truck right no and then you got you turned it into classical it's a country boy truck but that music does not go that's for sure. If you want to hear some more of this craziness on our podcast. Oh, yeah. We talk about everything. <laughs> this, this little incident will make it to the podcast. This is the only time she'd let me talk because I was behind the camera and she couldn't control it. Right. So, yeah. Anyway, and I, she's kind of more of a rock and roll type. That's person. for sure. That's for sure. So we're out driving this F-150 and um, like I said, low mile truck, one owner. Um, since it was new until we bought it in 2021 and it's got 89,000 88,962 miles on it and uh, it's got dual gas tanks um, it's got overdrive of course it's got um, 
cruise control has AC. You'll hear that run when we look under the hood so that you can hear that it blows nice and cold or you can hear the compressor turn on and it does blow nice and cold. We're comfortable in AM FM radio. No, no, it should never be used for classical music. And just so you know, the oat milk dirty chai lattes don't come with the truck. We just picked up coffee before we went out to do this little driving video. Um, so truck's in great condition. I'm going to show you how it stops just so you can see. I've got someone following me <laughs> right now, so i got to find a find a good place so you can see it stops nice and straight but truck drives really nice just like you would expect it's gonna make a great home um, for somebody and you can use it for lots of different things so I'm gonna put on the brakes here even though this person is following me and they're gonna be like what are they actually it's like a Clark look Griswold it moment <laughs> it stops nice and straight there's no no chattering in the brakes anything like that I'm gonna go ahead and wave this person on I don't want to know. Do you remember? Do you remember when Clark Griswold did that? They that that truck when they were Christmas vacation, and it got in front of him, and he was racing back and forth, yes. and that truck stopped right in front of him. That's yeah. just what you just did. But and you were driving a truck. I was driving a truck. But the thing is, like, we seriously don't do cuts. So now all of a sudden, the car is behind you. What are you gonna do? But as you can see, it stops nice and straight. There's no chattering in, in the brakes or anything like that. So just a fantastic truck. I'm gonna turn around. And then um, you'll get to take more of a look around and make sure you check out all the pictures in the description on the auction as well. No, not at all. You love classical music. Here's the problem. See where I'm at? Yeah. You're not in this truck, so I'm not sure if you're getting a ride home. <laughs> what are you going to do? Was it worth it? It was. What are you going to take off or something? 